What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a benchmarking test comparison between Nokia 7 Plus, Nokia 7.2 and Nokia 8.1 smartphones. All of these devices they got full HD plus screen, 4 GB RAM, Nokia 7 Plus and Nokia 7.2 they got Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 processor while Nokia 8.1 got Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 processor. In terms of storage, Nokia 7 Plus and Nokia 8.1 got 64GB storage and Nokia 7.2 got 128GB storage. Nokia 7 Plus and Nokia 8.1 are running on Android 10 while Nokia 7.2 is still on Android 9. So let's see how much all of these hardware and software specs are going to contribute in the benchmarking test score results. So let's start it. So the benchmarking applications we got today here, they are Antutu Benchmarking, Geekbench 5 and 3D Mark. So let's start with Antutu Benchmarking. So Nokia 7 Plus scored 181,749, Nokia 7.2 scored 180,588 and Nokia 8.1 scored 210,011. So first position, second position, third position. Obviously, Nokia 8.1 is a bit better in terms of processor and that's why it's scoring a bit more point. And if we have to look on the individual test score results, so here you can compare more in terms of CPU, GPU, memory and UX. So in CPU, somehow the performance of Nokia 7 Plus is the best. When it comes to GPU, the performance of Nokia 8.1 is the best. And after that, if you're talking about memory, then Nokia 7.2 and when it comes to UX, then once again, it's Nokia 8.1. And also overall, Nokia 8.1 is scoring more point compared to Nokia 7 Plus and Nokia 7.2. So let's go back from here. And now let's have a look on the next test for today. And that's Geekbench 5. So this test is also divided in two parts, CPU and Compute. We have already performed all of this test to save you time. We are just going to have a look on the test score results so Nokia 7 plus scored 336 in single core and 1514 in multi core while Nokia 7.2 scored 338 in single core 1491 in multi core and Nokia 8.1 scored 399 in single core and 1511 in multi core so in single core the winner is Nokia 8.1 in multi core the winner is Nokia 7 Plus but the difference between Nokia 7 Plus and Nokia 8.1 for multi core is very minute as you can see here and same goes with the single core score of Nokia 7 Plus and Nokia 7.2 because both of them got pretty much same hardware and other specs as well. Let's go back from here let's have a look on the compute test score result and here the winner is Nokia 8.1 it is scored 846 then Nokia 7.2 scored 621 and at the last position it's Nokia 7 plus with 606 so first position second position third position and if we consider two of the CPU tests and one of the computers then overall performance of Nokia 8.1 is better it is winner in two of the tests out of these three but once again it's up to you how you would like to consider it that which one is the winner and now let's talk about the 3D mark. It's a gaming benchmarking test. So basically it gives the idea about the gaming capability of the device. It is also divided in two parts, Slingshot and Slingshot Extreme, where Slingshot Extreme is divided in Vulkan and OpenGL. Talking about the Slingshot, Nokia 7 Plus scored 2051, Nokia 7.2 scored 2049. Very minute difference, just two points. And then Nokia 8.1 scored 2674 so uh, first position, second position and the third position. Talking about Slingshot Extreme, the OpenGL first. So Nokia 7 Plus scored 1362, Nokia 7.2 scored 1352 and Nokia 8.1 scored 1828. And now if you talk about the Slingshot Extreme Vulcan then Nokia 7 Plus scored 1071 Nokia 7.2 scored 1300 and Nokia 8.1 scored 1476. So in all of these three tests, 
performance of Nokia 8.1 is better compared to Nokia 7 Plus and Nokia 7.2. If we compare Nokia 7 Plus and Nokia 7.2 then once again performance of Nokia 7 Plus is slightly better because in two tests Slingshot and Slingshot Extreme OpenGL the points scored by Nokia 7 Plus is a bit more compared to Nokia 7.2 but in Slingshot Extreme Vulcan Nokia 7.2 is the winner. So Nokia 7 Plus and Nokia 7.2 are going to perform pretty much the same because they got the exact same hardware. The only difference is that Nokia 7.2 got more storage and if you're talking about the software then Nokia 7 Plus is on Android 10 while Nokia 7.2 is still on Android 9 but it will be updated pretty soon as well but overall the winner is Nokia 8.1 because it comes with better hardware specs compared to the other two smartphones. So that's all for now friends thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up Share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads. And I'll see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.